Okay, so what is like the ideal boat for a mud motor? Ideal hull shape, and, and everything I've read, you know, I've, you know, I used to build boats. I've tried, I built, uh, built a Piro, and I've built, tried to build several other boats that didn't quite uh, pan out. But I love the mud motors. They need a flat bottom because the V bottom, <clears throat> the way the motor works, is that you've seen that long shaft that I have is almost six or seven foot back here, and about six, seven foot back here. And it has to, the motor has to be right in the crest of the wave. And if you have a boat that has a V bottom, it doesn't, it, it crests too far back, right, for it to be effective. And so you need a, you need a longer shaft that means heavier weight, and you know how it is with trying to generate speed with heavier weight. So, about 36 inches wide, which is exactly what this is, is about as wide as the bottom of the boat needs to be and it needs to be flat. You can even make it less. My thing was, why not if we could just take a John boat, narrow it down to about two feet wide on the bottom, but then cant it out, sort of like you see here, uh, more, you know, uh, you know, it's two feet wide, cant it out here on the, on the bottom like that. The bottom's flat, cant it out like that, and then have it coming straight up, and take this transom as it's tilted back and tilt it forward instead of this 20 degree tilt back have a 20 degree tilt forward that way you get plenty of clearance and plenty of optimal angle for that uh, you get the optimal angle and plenty of clearance for that motor and a hull design that will put that crest exactly where it needs to be I think this boat does okay but I would rather have that uh, rounded hull semi rounded hexagonal hull because it will do better in the waves this thing does okay it's safe enough but a round bottom hull does better, and a soft chine hull, like you got the flat bottom is canted out like that, it, it, it'll bank a lot better, and you can use actually more horsepower with the same hull design, uh, with the same transom design, because the Coast Guard don't restricts this thing to like 10 horsepower, but if it were a soft chined boat, like it had a step here and coming around, they'd probably, they'd probably let you put 15 horse on it, you know because it can bank in those corners. This thing doesn't really bank in the corners that well, but with a soft chine hull, it'll just bank in the corners just like a one of these fighter jets you see. And so that's what you want. And uh, but but so those are some of my thoughts on what would be the ideal boat hull for a mud motor. And I have a little drawing that I put up that I plan on working on maybe fleshing out this year, maybe building some clay, some uh, paper models with it, testing it and see what what, what it'll do. But anyway, what do you guys do? Most of you guys use flat hulls like this. You got V hulls. What are you guys using for the main hulls in your boats? And uh, it'd be interesting to stoke that conversation, especially over at the Mud Motor Forums, uh, mudmotorkits.com. You get on forum. They have a new uh, boat uh, hull guide uh, section of the forums and or whatever. You can comment here or get on over to the website. And uh, and also too, be sure to subscribe to my newsletter, my, not my newsletter, but my updates. I give weekly updates on things I'm doing with the motor. And if you want those updates, check it out. I'll put a link to the updates there in the comments or the whatever in the section below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.